The ship, which has been renamed Hope for this voyage, lingered in port while Israel ramped up the diplomatic pressure. As the deckhands prepared the vessel for sea, it was clear that the Libyans' earlier bravado about breaking the Israeli blockade of Gaza was being tempered. At this stage, it looks highly unlikely that there is going to be a confrontation in the eastern Mediterranean. According to the Greek Foreign Ministry, they have been assured by the Libyan ambassador to Athens that this vessel is not going to try to get through to Gaza, that it will instead deliver its cargo to the Egyptian port of El Arish. Not long before sunset, the Hope slipped her moorings and started the three-day journey to the east. The Gaddafi charity challenged the diplomats' version of the plan, claiming they were still hopeful of reaching Gaza. We are uh, conducting a very humanitarian, purely humanitarian mission. Its uh, sole aim is to deliver humanitarian goods, foodstuffs, medications to the people of Gaza, who no one can dispute that they are in urgent need because they have been under boycott, siege, you name it. They, you know, they went through it because of the Israelis' action. We hope that the Israeli authorities would not uh, ban the ship from entering the port of Gaza. Perhaps the best indication about what will happen came from the man in the white shirt, the ship's owner, Alex Angelopoulos. He told me that the Cuban captain had been ordered to head for Egypt at the first sign of trouble. Malcolm Rabin, BBC News, Lavrium.